brother i'm gonna be for real how did you allow big mom of all people to catch you i think i said that before like come on dog here comes carrot just finna snipe this dude Pero sparrow taking his sweet time with that bow and arrow i wonder could she actually beat him in too long? she might be able to beat him in too long considering he's kind of maimed at this point right he can he just has a candy arm <laughs> This has been about like, what, two, one, 100 episodes in the making at this point. They went to whole cake in like seven, eight hundreds. Now we're here and it's been brewing. It has definitely been brewing. She's letting it consume her. Power of the moon. I can't be a good girl. No, carrot. I'm be real with you. Just use it. Like, no offense, it's probably not going to help that much against Kaido at this point, so... Dogstorm Cat Viper already out of it, so you just take out as many enemies as you can with it. Okay, he's still there, nice. <laughs> he's still holding the bow and arrow, bro. Big Mom's like, shoot him already, what you doing? He's like, I'm stuck here, someone is monologuing. Give me a minute. There it is. We got two Su Long users. Oh boy. Oh, but I wanna see uh, Wanda's Su Long form though. Carrot's Su Long form was fire. Oh, about Wanda. Oh. Okay, what y'all got for me? Y'all about y'all about to snap? Y'all about to hit the hit the schmooves? They going in? You're done, Pero Sparrow. I was kind of doubtful with just Carrot, but both of them. This is your own fault, bro. You could have been shot. <laughs> he could have he could have shot him like ten minutes ago. He been standing there for days, buddy. Moon. He's dead. <laughs> oh my god. He really did that shit, bro. He really led them on into the new world. The new, new world. The new world that Luffy is going to usher in. She flying on a dead sun demon god thing. That dude Prometheus was dead and she's still flying on him. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm pulled up. No. Yeah, that's a dog versus a dinosaur, bud. Nami, you are so petty, bro. <laughs> You deserve all of that. You deserve all that, Usopp. Now beat them both. Beat them both. Beat them both, beat them both Usopp. You got this. Nami said, yeah, yeah. You want to play with me like that? He's done. <laughs> He's done, bro. Bang, splash, wham. What? <laughs> Nami, you literally did that. <laughs> What'd you think? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Sword-wielding baboon. You better be careful, little girl. Kaido almost killed your ass. <laughs> You got Luffy. He did that one time. Better not let it happen again. Yama. Oh. Tell me that dinky ass shield blocked you. There you go. Get him out of here. You got the Thunder Bagua passed down from Kaido. I think they need to run. <laughs> <laughs> they probably shouldn't be in the middle of a firing squad right now. It seems like Yamato has like a similar version of Kaido's iron skin sort of thing. Maybe not as strong, but almost there. Mm-hmm. What would Odin do? W-W-O-D, what would Odin do? Hell is that? Hold on, what? You got you got abilities? You been holding out on me, bro? Hope you're growling like a dog. Oh, the fuck that? <laughs> she said, 
Grr. Oh, Frankie! No, don't stop the transformation. <sighs> Even though Frankie pro could probably take this thing out in a few hits, just one or two radical beams. Yeah, take down Sasaki, use whatever crazy ass ability you're about to do. You gotta take out this giant for Frankie? Ooh. Narikabura arrow. Okay, so it's done for. Now, Frankie versus Sa Sasaki makes more sense, I think. I feel like straw individual straw hats going up against some of the Toby Ropo would be cool. Because you have what? Sasaki, who's who? Um, obviously, ulti, page one. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, ba, dum. Bum, bum, bum. Kozuki Momonosuke. Now, Yamato, what are you holding out on me? Were you gonna turn into a f what was this, bro? What was you gonna do, big bro? Come on, dog. What was you gonna turn into? Is this a demon? Is it also an Oni? Like, it looked like it was like cold or some shit. The breath that was coming out of your mouth, but then like fire started pulling up and it was like blue and shit. I was thinking it was like the Oni thing because the Oni looked like demons and they had like the blue ice shit and all that. And the sharp fangs kind of led me to demon, but I don't know. I want to see it now. You're just going to tease me like this and just leave me titillated off the, uh, off the, off the, off the, uh, the concept of Yamato having some secret ability could have been a devil fruit. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Zoan, but usually Zoan, I mean, there have been Zoans that have turned into like, um, I don't know if a demon Oni would classify under some type of animal that could be in a Zoan fruit, but, uh, usually the Zoan fruits have some type of animal sub thing and then it goes into the more broad broad context of whatever animal it's supposed to be um even like the dinosaurs are like you know lizards or whatever basically so uh or i guess in their cases a lot of times like dragons but uh regardless i mean similar concept some type of naturally occurring animal uh regardless though i mean Big Mom is kind of, uh, Big Mom is kind of in a tizzy here. I mean, she kind of got hoed with the way she was just rolled away by Robin so easily. I was kind of just like, really? You gonna, I think that was just a way to get her out of the way. Um, cause dealing with both of them, Kaido and Big Mom in the same space like that is kind of just going to be annoying, but <laughs> it's just, all right, just roll her away and we can do that. She's, she's kind of been getting like swept away kind of, right? Like so far she's just been like, she's either chasing Usopp and Chopper or she's getting rolled around or she's like, I don't know, like she, she's getting tied up or she got her memory like wiped. So she's just kind of just like whatever, like thing that can keep her occupied it's sort of similar to what they do to luffy sometimes especially a uh, pre-time skip like getting him trapped in the snake or like he's um he had a bunch of things happening to him like he got he got stuck in that thing uh in between those two buildings uh, there's just these really annoying things just to keep them occupied so that they can't get into the main fight um it seems like the sort of same thing is happening to big mom here um, which I get. I mean, if you had Big Mom and Kaido running around, then you kind of couldn't get anything done. Like, that's just basically a guaranteed win for them, too. So, getting them separated in some way, um, you got to do what you got to do at that point. But um, maybe maybe it works better in the manga. It's just the pacing here is kind of off. Uh, but regardless, uh, Big Mom seems to be entering back into the fray. Marco's chasing her. I don't think Marco's going to beat her. Um, we don't really have too many options to fight Big Mom. I mean... I don't know where law went law is just <laughs> he's got his own mission i guess but um i don't even know maybe law marco uh who else is strong there like 
Um, I don't know, Drake. I feel like if, if another if enough of the worst generation comes together, they could probably do something to Big Mom. Like you got Law, you got Kid, you got Drake, you got Killer, you got Marco. They maybe together they 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 might be able to take out Big Mom, but I don't know. Emperor is an emperor, bro. You know, they've kind of been glossing over it a little bit, but I, Law's got to hold some type of relevance to all this, right? In the larger scheme of things, his name is Devil Fruit Poneglyph. Is this the road Poneglyph? Was it red? It looks bluish gray. Trafalgar D. Water Law. Death. Oh, okay. Told Robin. Two of like the smartest people in the show just casually talking. It should be crazy. <laughs> yeah, so the stone didn't have that signature red colored there, did it? He's a good, you know, good person to go after the opponent glyph because of his ability. You can get it out pretty easily. They're called enemies of the gods. The enemies of the celestials, y'all are. Hold some type of relevance to the bigger, the grander scheme of this world. Blackbeard, Luffy, of course, his family. Y'all got something, bro. Y'all are part of like some type of clan or something of that nature that were maybe at like war with the Celestials and unfortunately lost and they were able to create their little world government, Goro say, fucking void century. I mean, still keep that Poneglyph. Robin could read and find out some nifty information. <laughs> no, the frozen Oni. Somebody take this gun out of this man's hand. If y'all don't just jump up there and slice it up. Zoro, where is your 5,876 pound Phoenix, bro? <laughs> just shoot this man. Oh, boy. She's back. Robin, you know what to do. You know what to do, Robin. Roll her off again. <laughs> Cart her off into the distance. And here's Kid. I love how they like glitch the screen out too when he uses his powers. I feel like it takes a lot of stuff for him to create his like giant arms. Overwhelming amount of mass. Yeah, I don't know what y'all thought was going to happen, bro. He's got so much shit on him, he had to use CGI for it. Y'all done. He's got snake feet, bro. You cannot be serious. Get him out of here, dog. <laughs> He's saying, not worth my time, bro. Have fun down here. That's crazy. They just skipped that fool. <laughs> they named him and everything out of Smile for him. They just said, nah, not you, bro. You're not it. <laughs> Just trying to gather all the scrap in the castle and just throw it at Kaido. Hope for the best. Everybody stab him. He is just standing there taking stabbings like this. This is literally white beard energy, bro. He says, shut up and get off of me. Literally shaking ants off of him. Kinemon is so real, bro. He just keeps coming in. Oh no, he's done. He's done. That was a direct hit. I'm sorry, Kenimon. Your teeth are gone. Your brain is mush. Your skull is dust, bro. Like, oh my. I felt that. You saw me, bro. <laughs> I felt that, bro. Oh my god, bro. Got clocked. Nah, dog. If he stands up after that, he's goaded. <laughs> he's really goaded, bro. That was a crazy hit. Actually insane. His life is flashing before his eyes, bro. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Nose is bent backwards, bro. He got that Usopp treatment. Luffy saved these dudes, bro. Where are you at? They need a distraction to run away. That's kind of disrespectful. Luffy ain't a distraction. He's awake? You don't take a hit like that from a man like that and just get up, bro. He ain't block or dodge or nothing. He just got hit smack in the face. That thing got spikes on it. My bad, Kenimon. I wasn't I wasn't familiar with your game, bro. Who is that? Kawamatsu and who? 
Kiku. This is tough right now. Everybody's slowly getting exhausted here. Bleeding, tired. Y'all need another burst of energy. Bring bring out Odin again, dog. Is Kaido's energy just like limitless, bro? Like, how many times has he been cut up and stabbed and like... Wait, is he hitting somebody? He did hit them, bro. They're on the ground. Oh my god. Nah, dog. They didn't even show him it. He was just smacking the ground. They all got hit. We were using Earthquake. Dear God, bro. That's her torn off arm. Just fucking limbs strewn all over the place. Get to it, Zoro. Luffy got to take down an Emperor. So do you. Oh, no. He's about to get kicked. He's about to get kicked. Seeing somebody's arm, bro. You see an arm fall like that, you are like just what is happening up there? Somebody's dismembered limb who just crashed to the ground. And nobody gives a fuck about your game, bro. You're not Jigsaw. You're not funny. Fight somebody. This ice only tag. They're about to get cured, and you're about to look like a bozo. You just have to check. I guess maybe you wanted to see what would happen. Okay, yeah, Zoro seeing it. Yeah, he's about to be like, I gotta get up there. Yeah, okay, he realized. What do you do, Zoro? You stay down here, help them. Do you go up there and try to help them? Like, who do you assist? That's death. He's sick of this, bro. He is really tired of this right now. Zoro's like, no, I'm not chasing anymore. I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna just take you down now. Uh oh, main blade. Oh, get to it. Oh my god, what was that? Bro, I swear I saw a skull right there. You're done. You're you're dead. You're literally dead. You're finished. He's sick of this. He was just sick of this chasing, bro. He said, I am dead done with the games <gasps> don't let it break okay good yeah as long as he has the cure i think they're chilling <laughs> you won't die right <laughs> that's my man that's my man yes sir i love the zoro chopper big bro little bro dynamic yeah, what is going on you got that observation hockey for what what are you sensing hey yo what you doing, bro? Sanji senses a disturbance in the force. Oh, you're gonna titillate me like that? What did he sense? Sense some freaky shit. All right, now we're getting some uh, some uh, little, little tidbits. I was one uh, just the last episode. I was wondering where was Law? What's he doing, bro? Is over here looking for the road pond to go. That makes sense. That makes sense. He's the one. That needs to go find it because the original plan for Big Mom, which actually worked out, was uh, to just copy it because there's no way they're going to lift it and steal it. Um, for him, he can steal it because <laughs> he could just touch it and teleport it wherever he wants, which is kind of broken. But, you know, the room ability he does, it does have its limitations. So it does make sense. He's looking for the road poneglyph. It's good that they did not forget their initial objective here to try and find these poneglyphs. They are very important. Um... So the real question is here, um, the will of D, enemies of the gods. I think it's been made pretty clear that as far as enemies of the gods, it's more so the direct competitors and nuisances to the celestials, the Gorosei, the big dogs of the world government. Um, you know. There are a lot of people connected to these Celestials and how exactly they're able to manipulate the narrative across the world um, because of the way they uh, basically erased um, the Void Century from existence, essentially just changing the course of history to be in their benefit. Um, the Will of D name that is passed down to those that were probably their enemies and trying to stop them from doing that, but unfortunately failed, I'm guessing. Um, at least that's my thoughts on it. And how exactly Luffy and everybody else with the middle name D um, connects to this. I'm guessing there might have been some type of maybe clan or 
family i don't think they're blood related or anything like that but they're all probably part of like the same like group or something that inherited this middle name of d um what it means what it stands for i don't know i can't even guess that but like as far as like what it um what its symbolism is maybe is probably that and why the celestials are so afraid of those names um but yeah i mean i'm guessing that's going to be sort of end game talk right <laughs> like once we're nearing the end of this of these uh this huge expansive lore is probably when we're going to get some type of information on what all this means um i think this ending bit here was pretty well done you know they're they're really just getting like overpowered by kaido like they're it's just it's not even about like um skill or determination or anything at this point it's just raw power that they're unable to counter like look at this look at this bro dear god he got luffy remember when luffy took this same hit bro luffy took this exact same hit i mean you just can't you can't make this up this is like now i i didn't even really catch it but he was literally just crushing them right here right like kinemon couldn't really see but this man was just smack i thought he was just trying to break the ground he was at, like that blood splatter right there was definitely him hitting them and Kinemon just couldn't do anything, bro. Like he's so big that you can't even tell he's in it. Like, he's just smashing ants right now. Like they're done. Uh yeah, and Zoro seeing Kiku's arm and kind of just being like at that point, all right, I gotta wrap this up. This is crazy. They're like he's like, I'm fooling around down here while they're fighting for their lives, getting dismembered. Yeah, well, let's just let me just finish this up. What the, I gotta go back to when he hit. When he uh, sliced a poo, I'm pretty sure he had like a skull on his face, bro. He was just like done with all the other Oni. He's like, okay, I'm finished with this. I'm just going to cut you all up and, and get out of my way. Um, a poo is still over here rapping, bro. Where was it at? Uh, and also the like the whole thing with um, Drake was kind of just like, this guy good? What, 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 what got into you, bro? Bro, what came up when he was dashing at him? What is that? Look at him. Look at it on his face, bro. He got like a skull forming over his... Like, he's an actual demon right now. He is a literal demon. Who's that supposed to be? Samurai Ryuma, bro? Is that what you did to him? You brought out Samurai Ryuma for this guy? Like, <laughs> I don't even know what that was supposed to be. Um, but yeah, Zoro handled the poo, gave Chopper some, uh, motivation. He said, he said, that's my man, bro. That's my boy. <laughs> he didn't say it like that, but that's basically what he said, uh, which is always cool to see. But let's get into the final episode of this video. Episode 1011. Let us go. Uh, let me try to find the title here. Let's see if I can find it at all. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's see what Sanji heard. What was you hearing, Sanji? What was you feeling? What was you sensing? He might have detected a strong enemy. I don't think that's it, Jimbei. You can give him a bit too much credit. How far away was this thing that you sensed, bro? Is it the Black Maria chick? How much is he gonna unravel, though? <laughs> He's pulling at that thing all the time. Sir, how dare you assault this woman? Blast him through this. We're gonna burn it. Well, it's probably, it's probably gonna be. Oh, what the hell is that? You find Spider-Man? Oh, you got, you got tricked. You got tricked. Naughty trapu. That's a dirty trick. How did they know it would work on him? Another pervy man of justice. How many have you caught? I thought she was about to use that guitar like a gun, bro. <laughs> when she held it right there. Sanji, don't fall for it. It's all a trap. You're getting entranced into this music. Oh no. Her previous victims. What did she do to them? They're succubus, bro. Succubi. They're sirens. The forbidden fruit. Hell or... Oh no, Sanji's... This is, this is this is Sanji's hell right here. This is his real hell. How do you withstand the temptation? 
This is the worst person to put in this situation. Boy with a dirty mouth, I get the tingles. Oh no. He's trying so hard to fight it. <laughs> Ew, bro. What are these fruits? Smile fruits are literal, like, cursed abominations. What makes you think your snake feet are gonna take down 1.5 billion? Are you sick in the head? Rattlesnake chin looking ass, bro, come on, dog. She's literally melting into a gorilla, like, <laughs> Bro, you can't make this up. Actually, you can, Oda made this up. <laughs> I think y'all got swerved. Thank you, prisoners, for... <laughs> Helping him to avoid that meaningless fight. Greatly appreciated. Wasn't well, Big Mom like almost there? Like she was literally at the exit of the hole in the ceiling. Pathetic? He's dead. But yes, also pathetic. It was Zoro though. I will say, can you blame him? Finally, somebody did something, bro. Holy, he's just standing there shooting constantly how about somebody blast at him for once thank you zoro right screw all this bull zoro's pissed bro all this game bullshit like what do you think this is get up there bro show him what's up i'm gonna capsize the whole building what is going on kaido you good bro is it law doing this i don't think it's law doing this actually that's not even law law's in there law isn't in there right now it's just his crew i think the island is pissed off bro imagine like the final beast like <laughs> or his grandfather is waking up and they just have another massive giant kaido's like all right let loose the monster we have lying beneath is that yamato okay i think they're they're to safe enough distance <laughs> literally just ran outside Marco! Oh, that's some much needed heat. That is some much needed heat, my brother. Oh, there are your wings. Okay, this purple smoke means something. What what other demons do they have lurking on this island, bro? This purple smoke is a demon. Is it Caesar? <laughs> the Caesar pulled back up, bro. I wish I knew, but that port isn't connected to water, so I'm scared. <laughs> Did this man drain out the sea? Like, what happened? Dragons fly through the air, but creating flame clouds. Oh, yeah. Momo was doing that. He was, like, climbing on the little clouds when he first turned into a dragon on Punk Hazard. Holy! He's lifting up the island? To the flower cat. Why? He's just, th those are his flame clouds. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> what? He's lifting the island? With okay, <laughs> we just doing shit now, bro. What? Those are his flame clouds that he was he was using to fly in his dragon form. Okay, I thought he could just fly, but I guess he didn't have wings. So, oh yeah, okay, it is coming from him. So he could just control flame. That's kind of fire, actually. That is an interesting way to use his powers. New Onigashima stronghold for pirates. Why is he relocating to the flower capital, though? He wants to move Onigashima to the center, Wano? Okay. I'm assuming it has something to do with, um... What's it called? Having, uh, having this big war. Which is what his entire plan is, but... Uh, I guess he's gonna make it so that Onigashima, which is normally just, you know, it took them so long to get to Onigashima because it's so far off from the rest of Wano. Um, he's just gonna move it in the center of it so that it's like a, it's like his own, like, like they had uh, Marine Ford, they had the Marines headquarters. He's gonna have like <laughs> the Kaido headquarters in this center of Wano, I'm guessing, uh, and just make this entire island his stronghold. I said stronghold, stronghold, what? <laughs> I can't speak today. Um, I mean, that makes sense because he doesn't want to just wreak havoc and just start a war against the world. But I mean, like, is he... Because they, they, they had this smoke coming around 
from the start, I was just like, wait, what? what? I, I wasn't really giving it much attention. And then slowly but surely, it, it had some type of meaning. Uh, and then Black Maria said, uh, how impatient. So I guess he's been planning this already. Um, just didn't tell me. Why don't you tell me, man? Why don't you tell me, Kaido? You can, you can uh, let, let me know what, what, what was going on here, bro. Yeah, they had like the smoke coming up right here. It was starting from where Kaido was at, but I just thought it was just like, you know, just, just for effect, just for creepy effect. Like, let's get some purple smoke going, but it was actually emanating from him. Um, and I didn't even notice like, okay, that's a port, but it, there's no water there. I just thought the ship left or got destroyed or something. Um, that looked cool though. It looked cool. Like floating island over here now. This is a fire shot. Actually, this is the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail, bro. <laughs> I was going to use Zoro slicing up a poo, but this one, this, this is a, this is way too clean of a thumbnail right here. That just looks cool. Um, man, this is, this is looking pretty perilous for our heroes right now. Um, I guess our crew, not really heroes. I don't, uh, Sanji's fight right now. I, I don't, I don't feel like that's a main fight. I don't know if, I think Zoro and Sanji are going to be fighting, um, Queen and King. Cause Jack already got taken down, right? Jack was sort of meant for the run back on Cat, uh, Cat Viper and Dog Storm. Um, I don't like, you know, the Toby Rope are cool, but that, I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's Zoro Sanji material, you know what I mean? Even if it was, I mean, Sanji wasn't going to fight a female anyway, so it's like, why, why would he even try? Um, I think somebody's going to save him from here. Uh, maybe Robin. Robin would make sense here. I think Robin could fight her. Um, and, or Robin or Jinbei, I don't, I don't know. I think... The rest of the crew are just going to fight the other Toby Ropo members. Uh, for From what I've seen, or just like the way everyone's presented, I think who's who, just because we have we barely seen anything from him or his abilities, they might be saving him up as the strongest of the Toby Ropo. Um, who's who and what's his name? Uh, who's who and page one. I could also see Sanji fighting page one, even though he already had the fight initially, but you know, queen and king being the, or they could also go to law and kid. Actually, that might make more sense. Kid could go for queen and law could go for king. Um, or I feel th there are just so many, I feel like king might have to fight Zoro just cause he seems like the closest to number two. It seemed like Jack initially, but Jack already got defeated. Uh, King might also fight if Sanji wants to run back. I, there, there are so many ways this could go. I'm, I'm not even going to try to guess what the fights are looking like right now. But um, I think a lot of the Toby Rope are just going to go to Straw Hat members. I don't think Chopper or Usopp or Nami, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to have a serious fight here. They might. I might, I might stand corrected. There's still, there, there's still like, um, there's still something. I, well, actually, Nami and Usopp got beaten pretty bad, so I don't think they can really be doing anything at this point um unfortunately but uh yeah this is uh this is not looking good marco pulling up is good though you know the heat if he can provide some type well he his his flames have like healing abilities didn't they? i feel like that might help out in some way he could just blast everyone fire it can provide heat also heal them and it could slow the spread of the virus maybe while chopper is able to work on it that might work out we'll have to see but that does it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Next time we'll be watching episodes 1012 to 1014. But that wraps it up for this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes just as much as I did. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.